What's up, beauties? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Ferny Show. To make this oatmeal milk for hair, you will have to boil two portions of oatmeal for two portions of water. When the water will start to evaporate, just add two more portions of water and mix it well to prevent the oatmeal to stick to the pan. As you can see, I'm using a rice measuring glass. Depending on your preferences, you can add some more water. Personally, I finish by adding four more portions of water. Wait till the mixture cools down and mix it. And you really have to wait or you might get burned like me. <laughs> and I don't want this to happen to you, so be careful. To get rid of all the residues, pass through a sieve or through tights or dish towel. And voila, you have your oatmeal milk base to create lots of hair care products. Don't hesitate to add some preservative and keep this oatmeal milk in the fridge to make it last longer. Now I'm gonna show you two quick and easy recipes that you can make with this oatmeal milk. The first one is a hair mask for dry hair. Melt in a water bath two tablespoons of shea butter and one tablespoon of honey. In a boil, Put a portion of oatmeal milk. Add the melted shea butter and honey and mix everything well. If you want to have a nice smell, you can add an essential oil or aromatic extract. Let it set for 30 minutes and wash your hair. Here's the second recipe I'm sharing with you. It's a no shampoo shampoo. <laughs> Melt three tablespoons of shea butter in a water bath. In a boil, add one portion of oatmeal milk, one portion of brownie powder, and finish with the melted shea butter. Mix it well, and it's ready. <laughs> you will have moisturized hair. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and tell me in a comment what's your favorite homemade hair care. I see you in the next one. Bye!